Okay, so John Durham, I got ahead of myself, and I apologize for that, but I'm anxious to report this story to you. Uh, Testified today in front of the House Judiciary Committee, that's Jim Jordan, uh, who's a chairperson, Um, and it was that basically the FBI was corrupt in the way it put together Crossfire Hurricane, which was the investigation into whether the Trump campaign worked with Russia to subvert our election in 2016. All right. That's what it was. And Jordan, um, I'm sorry, and Durham came to the conclusion the FBI was corrupt. All right. They did all kinds of terrible things, some of them illegal, to try to get Trump. The goal of the Bureau was to get Trump, take him out using all kinds of underhanded methods. So the Democrats on that committee, of course, are going to not accept that. And even though it's true beyond any reasonable doubt, they won't accept it. And this was a fairly intense exchange. Go. Your reputation will be damaged. As everybody's reputation who gets involved with Donald Trump is damaged, he's damaged goods. There's no good dealing with him because you will end up on the bottom of a pyre. I yield back the balance of my time. Sure. My, Can we uh, presume the gentleman's undecided on, on how he feels about the pre- former president? <laughs> Gentlemen, witness can respond. Yeah, my uh, concern about my reputation is with uh, the people who I respect, and my family, and my Lord. And I'm perfectly comfortable with my reputation with them, sir. That's a good answer. Steve Cohen is a radical leftist, Democrat from Tennessee, interestingly enough, but in a very liberal district, of course. Um, But he, Nadler, Schiff, they all did the same thing. Uh, It doesn't really matter. The FBI broke laws and and was unethical and got warrants they shouldn't have gotten and all of that. We don't care because we hate Trump. And our hatred of Trump overrides any respect for the law. And Cohen said it. Oh, you're throwing in with Trump. No, Durham just, after four years and all that money, this is what Durham found out. That the FBI committed crimes and did things that they shouldn't have done. When I say committed crimes, you cannot swear, okay, to a federal judge on a warrant basis that things are true when they're not true. And that's what they did. That's what the FBI did. They put false things in a document given to a judge to get a warrant to eavesdrop, to tap. It's a crime. And they did it. Now you say, well, why are they going to be, how come they're being held accountable? Who's going to hold them accountable? Merrick Garland? I told Hannity today, If the Republicans win the presidency and at least one of the houses in 24, they could go back and prosecute some of these people on conspiracy charges like Comey and McCabe and Strzok and other people within the Justice Department. Okay, that could happen. It should happen. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year, stocks dropped a whopping 20 percent. 2023 could be worse. You are right to be worried. So call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I've been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers and have the highest rating in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201, or text Bill... To 65532. Again, that's 866 501 5201 or text Bill to 65532. 
Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.